Bring it up, bring it up. Oh my, she is a beast. Alright. She is a beast. So you've just got this on what? Single maggot or double maggot? Double maggot. Double maggot. What have you got? Hello, so we are down the half round ponds. Um, the weather forecast has been cloudy since the beginning of the week. Then it started looking like it was gonna have a spot of rain. <laughs> Friday turns up and we're here and it's absolutely lashing it down. You can see it. I've just slammed the bivy up, my soaked through. Um, I, I, got a, I got some more clothes in my bag, so I should be all right. Eddie's just down there, he's run off um, with a maggot rod already, just hooked something and it's clean and snapped the hook off. So, <laughs> yes, fish up on the feeding. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be a bit nicer as the session progresses and um, we'll get some fish on the bank. Right, I'll see you when we get round to the bivy because it is lashing down. I only got my, I only got my net attack on set up. Keep it tight, you've just slackened right off then. Okay. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh keep it steady, keep it steady. Slowly, slowly. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Oh my, she is a beast. Right. She's a beast! She's huge! So look. She's huge! Have a look. What have you just caught? While I was still putting the beds together, you've just got this on what? Single maggot or double maggot? Double maggot. Double maggot. So have a look. It looks... That's a... That's a it's a six or seven pound fish, right? That's I wasn't expecting... You just cast it out randomly so far you can. And then that just... Well, I cast it out a fish that was swimming. Yeah, a two fish just... Right, hold the net. Make sure it doesn't pull off. <laughs> hold the net. The net itself. 13 pounds. 13! 13. 13. 13. 13 pounds, 2. What? Yeah. What? First fish was double-edged. What? That's a quick one on the other side. Which way is he going? Come on, off he goes. That's a really feisty boy. Oh my god. He's done it again. He's in the weed, gotta keep him high, Ed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Keep it high. Yeah. He's much bigger than the last one. You see that massive splash he did? He went mentally, jumped out of the water and everything. Oh, what have I done? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, 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 Don't think you can snap a rock. My is going crazy. It's going up. Bring it over here. Oh, thank you. Oh. No. 
back down there now. Do the lane speed in. Yeah. Oh my god! He's huge! He's huge! Let me see, let me see. He's huge! He looks like the one I just caught. I'm in this time. Okay. <laughs> Meant good. He's just playing with Brad. He loves to play with Brad. Oh, the wheels come up with it. Oh, I think it's a common this time. You think I throw the mirrors in this way? Oh, I can see it. Right. I can see it in the wheels. I did in. Don't lift it yet, don't lift it yet. Okay. Now lift it. The tails are in, the tails are in. Push. Oh. Nice one on the side, eight pound. I think he just swam off. Open it up. Oh, he's gone. This is what you get when you catch a fish in a really weedy lake. Wee! Wee! Bang on nine pound. Oh! It beats your second fish, but not your first fish. Yeah, you beat my second fish. So, he's one of the rare commons in the lake. Pretty well scarred up though. But absolutely mental fight. There we go. You gonna take a picture of me? Cool. Hello. Okay. I'm flipping around. Mentally fishing. And here we go, this side, proper scar, common, no scar in. Your fingers in front of the lens. No, it's not. Bye bye, little car man. Oh, and away he goes. Wee, boom, boom. Wasn't even hooked onto him. Oh. What have you got? Um, green. No green. That little shiner. That is a rud. Oh, yeah. Well Same thing. Well, that's cut number three on my guess if he can get it, land it. I think it's run him. Let's have a look. Open up the cradle. Oh, no, it's Open the cradle. There's a fish. Can't just leave me hanging and sit in the air. Yeah, but there's a fish on your one. It's not nothing there. Right. It's on a runner, so it'll, it'll be fine. Right, get the weed out. Hello. Yeah. You're banned from fishing if you carry on. Let's ignore the fish once you've caught it. Yeah? He's a monster. Right. Do you want to in, really? He's a lot smaller. Come on. And you, hey, you're not helping at all. So, this one is... Six pound... Six pound three? Six pound three, yeah? No. Okay. Dark head. There's another one on bread, it's gone straight into the weed. Oh, there's another little one.
Oh, let's have a quick look down into the net. Yeah. There he is. Mad little one, scaly as hell. Ready? Tempo? Tempo? Just, just touching tempo. Just about touching tempo. Alright, I'll go double figure fish as well now. Yep. Okay, Dima. Yeah. Take some pictures in the head? Lovely fish. Right. It's slipping back. I don't think this rain's going to stop, though. No. It stopped for about three seconds, and now it's carried on. Double trouble. I caught one, and then my dad's rod just went fully off. And it's the Yeah, I was putting it up there, didn't I? And the bread out of this screamed off. So he's buried in the weed. Go on, lift up the net then. He's got the bigger weed ball. Even the tag's nice though. Yeah, see you little maggot out. Eight on one, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Turn it around quick. Right, should we let him go? <laughs> Fish number two. <laughs> oh, I have no idea. Is there a much bigger fish up there? Well, he's not bigger than yours, Ed. He's 12. 12. 12, 14. You listening? Nope. 12, 14. There we go. I don't know how many fish we've caught now. Ed, you just can't walk the front of the camera. There we go. I, I genuinely don't know how many fish we've caught now. I don't know if it's my third or fourth, and Eddie's on four or five. I have no idea, but uh, yeah, I didn't think we'd come down here and nearly bank, well, potentially 10 fish before the head, but uh, yeah, let's, let's slip this one back. The second, second double fifth of fish of the afternoon. And uh, powered off lovely. Oh, there we are. Right, we're finally retiring to the bivvy. Um, it's 10 o'clock. Eddie's coat is hanging here drying. Um, he's gonna have to take this off, it's still wet. My t-shirt is soaking. I am got a spare t-shirt, but I've got a hoodie. So I'm gonna strip this off, put a hoodie on, and hopefully, because it's supposed to be really sunny tomorrow, we can ev have everything out and dry it. But um, how many fish have we had? I don't know. I think, well, if you count all the little ones you caught as well, we were probably on about 15 to 20 fish. We had some cracking, like, rud. Yeah. Um, I think we've had nine carp between us, and it's like, we got here at half past six, and it's now 10 o'clock, so that's, mm. that's, that's one every half hour, isn't it? Something like that? Mm. No, one every single minute. One every single minute, okay. That's, that's tens of thousands now. Or one... <laughs> but, uh, Yes, <laughs> chaos, total chaos. Oh. But uh, a one every two minutes. I haven't even. I'm going to set up the carp rods now. I put a, a big chunk of particle bait out and three or four handfuls of Atlantic crab. And well, we I, I, I baited that up to start with, and the carp were just cruising around all over the top of it. So we were just picking them off with bread in the end. And um, maggots. And maggots. So they were looking for the food when we got here. So. I'm hoping we'll have a couple of fish during the night, not as chaotic as it has been, and uh, we'll have a bit of a good night's sleep. Yeah. Yeah? Right. We're going to go actually roll out the sleeping bags and, and get our beds ready. Right. 
I'll see you in the morning. Later, hopefully. We might get a carp in the night. Yeah. All right. Or in the morning. Hey, in the morning. Okay, it's just gone 11. Just tied six PVA bags, ready to put the three rods out. So I got one rod out and one spare. Um, yeah, so the pods are up. You can see that, I haven't got the rods up. Out yet. I am um, decided to go. I don't know if you can see that. E double double bottom baits, um, marine zest, and then double bottom baits over here. Atlantic crab on the rigs. Because, um, yeah, just turn my head talk off a sec. So I can see my face. Yeah, so we've had nine fish since we got here. Um, some of them are small for here so I'm thinking double bottom baits I'm gonna get a bigger mouth fish potentially bigger fish so I don't mind if we don't have anything tonight but if we do catch something and it's a big fish that would be great so um, yeah so I'm gonna fish double bottom baits tonight um, chuck a big PVA bag in it might get a few beeps during the night and hopefully the bigger ones will run off with it but uh, yes that's how I'm going to fish tonight. So I'm going to literally sling them out now and have a lie down in bed because wandering around with a t-shirt that's been soaking wet all night, my back is absolutely killing me. Right. I think I'm ready to go. Put the rods out. I'll see you in a bit. I'll just quick you, quickly show you. That's my illuminated bivvy. I've got my uh, studio light in there. There's lighting it all up in there. I've got my trousers hanging up and Eddie's jacket. Both soaking. Eddie's in there, fast asleep. He uh, listened to. He, he was on his tablet for about sort of like I don't know, about ten minutes before he said, "I'm knackered. I'm going to bed," <laughs> which is brilliant. I don't have to sort of tell him it's time to go to bed. But uh, I'll see you later, hopefully. All right. Good morning. It's uh, two fifteen. And uh, yeah, oh, I can't even speak. I was, I was sound asleep in this one, give like a proper one toner. There's only a little one, a little dot, and the second common of the session. There we go. Can't be more than sort of three pounds to be fair. But it gave me a proper one toner, dragging everything along. It's pulled the uh, lead off the leader the rig so I've only got one rod out now but uh yeah still coming 2 15 in the morning this was the double Atlantic crab <laughs> right let's slip him back there we go What you do if you fish on the other side of the lake, you might catch the first perch of the day. What was that? Whatever, get the line tight. Is that the hook there? Dad, is the hook all done? I've got the hook. Yeah, I had fun. I've walked over there. Go catfishing and everything. Can you tell them what time you got up? I don't know. My alarm went off at 5 50 because I uh, 5 30 because I forgot to switch it off. And Eddie's been up since then fishing with Margaret. Biggest one is this one. We have this one here. He's okay. With the smallest one. Really small.
already. Are you caught a fish? No. You got one and then you stopped too early? Yeah. Oh. Well, I didn't get one because I stopped too early. But you did because you stopped. Over there, no. But you did. Because why did you stop? Because it pulled the line. Look at this feather. Cool. Right, so it's finally breakfast time. I've got in the pan. You can see it. Some bacon and some mini hash browns. So I've got a half a baguette in there, so I'm going to cut it open and cover them all in there. Me and Eddie are going to have some breakfast. Breakfast is served. Lovely baguette with squashed hash brown in there. Pretty happy with that. Right, let's get some food in here. It's just hatched. Do you know how to fly? Where have you put all the nets now? There's a net there. You play in it. You got it? No, that's your first fish. I don't know, you've caught fish off the top of bread before, haven't you? Yeah. Let's get out of the way. Okay. Look at this baby. Don't lean forward with it. Look at him. Bits of everything on him, isn't it? Lovely cut, that is. First cup of the morning, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it wasn't as prolific as last night. Shall we um, give him a quick wave? What's a wave? Oh, the wave, yeah. Shall I zip it up? And the other side of a cracking little mirror, is it? Mm hmm. Do you want to speak? Um, yeah, on bread. Go on bread. Go on bread. The slipping bag, is it? Beautiful cup. Ready to go, it's powering off. Still there. Off he goes. Seven pounds six. Well, it's four, but. Four, five. Everyone. There's two in there, so I'm going to wash it two out. Well, it's now two o'clock in the afternoon, and apart from the, the one cup I had, had off the surface and the one I had early hours of the morning, it's pretty much dead. That chaos we had when we arrived. Um, it's got to be the weather, the, the, the low pressure coming in, uh, the rain, then sudden high pressure today. So you can see that it's made a massive difference. But uh, one thing we have managed to do, I'll give you a quick look at it. We've turned the bivy into a washing line. There's most of Eddie's clothes there, my trousers I was wearing last night, Eddie's socks, there's my shoes still soaking wet. And there's his jacket, oh, and a jumper that he's wearing this morning. And he decided to put his arm in the lake. But uh, everything's drying nicely in the sun, so uh, yeah, I might have a pair of socks to go home, even though they might be stinking. But uh, yes, what we're ha what's happening at the moment is that 
Eddie has decided to free line two pieces of maize on the right hand rod. He's, he's surface fishing with another rod with bread while watching his tablet and I'm still fishing my two rods on the bottom but it's very weedy out there and every time I'm bringing them in they're all clumped up so maybe I'm thinking solid bags tonight. I'll sort out some stuff, get some solid bags on. But uh, yes, maybe, maybe as it gets into sort of like early evening dusk they'll start coming up on the surface again and we get a few more takes. It's uh, really hard to get them up off the bottom at the moment. There's a few pegs on the lake where you can get clear spots. We just haven't got one. But we're, out, we're doing alright. Right, I shall see you guys later. There we are, another screaming run and Eddie doesn't let me get. Okay. My God. No, I not into an absolute assault course. There he is. The one of Daddy. You claiming my fish here? No. I'm just trying to hold it. The fish. Now, now your turn to hold it. And here's the other side. Lovely, lovely scaly. Dark mirror. I'm just slipping back now. And I'm off the mark for the day. So it's, um, I think I'm on six fresh now, and you're on about six? Seventeen. Seventeen, no, is 12. it? Twelve. Twelve, oh dear God, amazing numbers. Right. Got one and I am striked on accident, and then I tangled the whole entire reel up. But we've still got the fish on. My rod's going crazy, so I'm going to just stay here. Is this the on? Yeah. Well, I lost that one in a... Can't do it in a big weed bed just over there. Um, when Eddie picked up the rod, the spool spun into a big bird's nest. Um, I picked up the rod and held it tight while I tried to pull it all out. But by the time I'd sort of got the rod manageable to use, it had kited straight across, straight through all the weed. So um, I got the rig back, um, all kinked and bent like, but um, no fish. Ah, uh, never mind. What's my fish weight in Ed? You reckon over ten pounds? Oop, it's still going mental. He is. Oh, it's bouncing. Yeah. I can hold him. Watch. He's not ten pounds. He's what? nine. What? He's nine pounds. What? Nine pounds. I'm still in the lead. Nine pounds, thirteen, fourteen. So the fishy looks like this. He's a huge one. Let's show you. He's this. He's too heavy. There's another rod placed literally on the same spot. Another single Atlantic crab hook bait. Powered off and literally done the same curl towards the uh, towards the weed bed again. But uh, this time, I didn't have a bird's nest to no deal with. I'll video for you first. Three, right. two, one. Yeah, you may have noticed that we've. Uh, We've moved the cradle over a bit. It's getting a bit muddy over there. <laughs> Mad fishing. I've never fished it like this before where there's just fish. Yeah. Some back. Yeah. When there's just fish jumping out at every bait you seem to throw at them. Amazing. Amazing fishing. Amazing. Right there. Where's ready to go? 10... 10, 14. Stop sleeping. 10, 14, off he goes. 
Okay. He was 9.14. Oh, right. Just uh, I thought I'd run you through the rig I'm using, which is normal leader with a three ounce lead. I've got myself, I think it's about seven inch hook length, a stiff one, with its peel back at the end so it's all flexy. I've got a 15 mil um, <coughs> Glatty Crab, and to combat the weed, I'm putting on a big PVA bag, probably a three quarter tennis ball size. So, and I'll put that through and then double twist it so that so that it pierces the PVA twice, and that's what I'm dropping out. And I'll bung that into the area I think is a clearing. I had two runs in it, so it's got to be better than um, the other areas of the lake. So I'm just going to chuck it out, and I'll see you later. Don't do it with a swan around, because he's stupid. Eddie, put his back to front jumper on. Yeah, I'll take the front. Well, all the labels are sticking out. What do you got, Ed? Massive little car. Coming through the weeds, is it? Mm -hmm. There it is. Are you going to get him? Oh, look at him! Look at that scaly beast. Oh, that's huge! Get the, get the shank of the hook and turn it and pull it away. There we go. Oh, He's probably be in my record. Oh, it's going to dance first, is he? Cracker, though, isn't he? Yes, that's it. Ready? Ready? Go. Go. He's huge. Lovely fish. Getting good at surface fishing now, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, look how smug you are. <laughs> okay. Watch, it, watch his fins in, tuck his fins in. You know, bend down. Look around his tail. Well, look at the frothy bit. We need to get you fixed. Um, 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 um. On the cradle, sir. Okay. We have a double trouble. There's one in the cradle because we were doing a vi we were doing a short about that vi the uh, massive one in the cradle. Now we have a. There he goes, cruising off. Straight into the darkness. If you have weed on it, if you have weed on your thing, you have to take it off. Or the fish will not think it's bait. Okay, so you have to take it all off and take it off the hook. Take it all off the hook. Don't want any more. Shake your hand when you're done. And then go back to fishing.
trying it with worm this time. Trying with worm. Straight away. Oh, he's in. Lift it, lift it. Lovely right there. Shame. Only one I ever thought. Let's release him. Goodbye. Ed. What are you doing chasing the, the sleep? All the ducks are sleeping and you're running at them. Uh, no, I'm not. What have you got, Ed? Um, a tent. Ed. I put it in the bucket. Don't move the camera. So Eddie gets this little, lovely little tent, like a bar of soap. And while we're trying to take a photo, what happens? This little bugger picks up my Atlantic crab and he is not happy that we've caught him. Mm. So look at that. We've got a lovely sort of mid single figure fish. Seven to eight maybe. And a tent possibly a pound. Happy? Yeah. Lovely little fish. Do you want a photo with the tent? Yeah. What? Dinner time on the bank. Mm. You've, had sausage, you've had sausages, but you wouldn't have sausage rolls, would you? Mm. So, you ate, ate your sausages and now you want cereal. So, we're having sausages. We've had, what have you had today? We had, we had fried spam mm. and hash browns, which you didn't eat. Mm. Bacon roll, which you wasted, and now you're eating cereal. Uh, I suppose it's one of the better things you can eat, I suppose. Right, it's now 10 o'clock on the second night. Um, nothing compared to last night. Um, the fish were throwing themselves at us. Were they? Yeah. They were, they were throwing themselves literally at us for the first night, but then it was raining and the pressure was low and, and today the pressure's been really high. So, it's been a different, different ball game. I think it's time for bed, Ed. Yeah. Eddie, Eddie's going to bed. I'm going to lie here for a bit until he's gone to sleep. I've just tidied up outside. Put the rods, Eddie's rods, all stacked up next to the bivvy and everything like that. And um, maybe we'll get a few carp during the night. And if we don't, it doesn't matter. We've caught loads. <laughs> but, uh... Yes. Yeah. We'll be packing up quite early in the morning. I say early in the morning, probably home for midday. So hopefully we'll get a bit of, uh, we'll have the sunrise and a bit of uh, sunshine before we pack up and go home. I, I, I probably wouldn't fish her if, if Eddie wasn't coming with me, to be fair. I'd stick on the fender and try and catch one of the big 30s, but you love it down here, don't you? Right. We'll see you in the morning or if I catch a fish, ta-da. There we go. So our first little little mirror of the morning. And with the soap on my knees, brilliant. But uh, yes, packing up now in a few hours and we're still catching carp. Yeah. It was a quiet night, which I needed. It was lovely, lovely to get a bit of sleep on the bank. You all right? Yeah. You've, you've been busy casting my rods out into the lilies and snapping them off and stuff like that, haven't you? But we'll, uh, we've opened the account for the second morning, so there we go. A proper good morning. Just put that fish back. Eddie's declared that um, that rod now is his fish, his rod if he gets, gets another run, so uh, we'll see. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that screamed off as soon as I put it back out, because as I said last night, I put the baits out, but there's a lot of 
Silver Senior as well. Uh, by the time we came in, they pummeled it down to nothing. So he was probably hanging in the weed, and it's probably yanking and pulling on it, and it wasn't giving me any indication. So that was that. But uh, yes, I had the kettle on. Made myself a cup of coffee, and uh, let's see what the day brings. It was supposed to be sunny. We feel it like a drizzly sort of dampness in the air, so it's not sunny. Let's just click it. Might have a cup of carb in the morning. But yes, gotta get some breakfast on and start day number three technically, isn't it? We had Friday, Saturday, and now it's Sunday. But, uh, hopefully we'll do some nice long sessions on the fen garden cat of cat traits like this, because this is awesome. <laughs> Just checking the rigs and uh, bringing in a bit of weed, is it, Ed? Oh, here it comes. That's not too bad. That's a zig. <laughs> when we have a fish and there's tons of weed, that's where we plop it on the bushes. Huh? No one knows. No. Where he's flavouring up his zig. He's got some rosehip essence there. It's a little dip. So, where are you aiming? Where are you aiming that zig, Ed? Aim for the gap, by there. It's swinging around. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Aim in a straight line and don't swing the rod, right? Go. That was awful. Is that good? Still on. It came off then. Why are you going through the other line here? Oh, yeah. And pull him this way. Bend the rod. Not yourself. No, it came off. Oh. Wait, I can lift up the boilie. Oh, you took the boilie. Yeah. Same rod again. It's a different rod. Oh. It's always them two rods, never my rod. I'm going to chuck my rod by your rod too. Because I want to catch fish on the fish. Why are you cast reading that in again? King's dead. Something dragon. So cute. Starting the slow pack down. Probably get off here about midday, which is two hours time. Um, so a nice two hour slow pack down. So one one. Uh, tip I'd give you. This is already stayed in for the last two nights. Arctic class military grade sleeping bag. Just get on any army surplus and you can get them pretty cheap. I think this one this one cost me like 35 quid. But you get some they want like hundreds from but um, yeah 35 quid and it's up it's supposed to be good up to like minus four I think it is so brilliant for a sleeping bag.
fact. There we go, another run. Eddie's picking my rod and run off the run first and next. Keep it up right. Keep it up right, don't lower it down. Is he on? I thought you'd let it run into the lilies then. It's just lying with it. It's not good. It's scary. Wait a minute, let's get, get him up to the as close as we can. You lost it last time in the weed, didn't you? You did lose it. You lost the last two. Here he comes. Stop dropping the bottom tip right down, right? You've got to keep it up. Five pound eel, that was. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so it's right, see. You slap it off, didn't you? As soon as you got the net. Never mind. Well, that's another one lost. <laughs> so, that wasn't a calf, it was an eel. And it was, it was, <laughs> it was huge. I would say maybe five, four or five pound. It was, and as we got to the net, Eddie slackened off, but it wiggled backwards out of the net and it was free. So, but we lost it, so I don't get to see it. But that was, that was a huge deal. That would have been a personal best for both of us, probably, probably standing most of our lives. But hey ho, it happens. Final, last breakfast, final breakfast of the session. Me and Eddie, we've got bacon and mini ash brown. Same finger rolls. It does feel a bit of a letdown now. Seeing that eel and seeing the size now. Mm. Never mind. Maybe maybe I'll come down and actually target eel. That was huge, that was huge. So we just chucked the rods out for the last hurrah, put the beds and everything beds and sleeping bags in the car. So what we got here, let's have a look. Atlantic crab, single hook bait. Atlantic crab, single hook bait. Eddie with his rose hip and marine zest zig out past in between the islands. So this is our last chance to catch a carp, I think. You're not going to land on his nose. It's too far. This one is hard to climb. Mr. Social Butterfly goes and fishes with everyone on the lake just to chops to them or tell them he's better than everyone. <laughs> well, last barrow load. Um, Eddie's still here and he's still got the bread rod out. Adamant that he's going to catch one last carp and um, 
no, this, this, they're avoiding the bread. They're like literally swimming around it in circles. So I don't think we're going to get one. Time is nearly up. Um, but we've had a good weekend, haven't we, Ed? Come here. Come here. Oh, so you're going to have to stand up like that awkwardly, yeah? Or squat down low in the camera. Stand up. There we go. So what do we had? We got here when it was raining. Had nine carp, went to bed, got up. And it was a cloudy day. We had, I don't know, I, I, I sort of lost count then, just we had a, a load of carp during the day. Um, you had a tidy tent, didn't you? I had a couple of small little tents. And you had a whole geo. And then this morning, after a totally barren night, no carp, um, I had a carp early on. Then Eddie was, I told Eddie he could have the next run on my rods, which was a run and lost, run and lost. Then he hooked an eel and we nearly got it in the net. And as it as we got it over the net, Eddie slackened off, the hook came out and he reversed out of the um, net. And that was probably the biggest eel I've ever seen, freshwater eel anyway. Don't go crunkling that bag now when you eel. But um sort of gutted about the eel, but we've had a good time, haven't we? We've had about I don't know, I couldn't tell you. We had nearly 20 carp, or coming up to 20. Mm. Plus you've had a load of rud, and we've had a handful of tent, and nearly had a needle, so it's been a good weekend. Um, yes, we've had a good time. You had a good time? Yeah. Are you ready to go home now? Can we wheel in your rods? No, wait until we have a car. No, that might not happen. Anyway, I'm going. I could have to leave him here. Right, I'll see you next time on the bank. Ta-da! Bye-bye. There we go. Davy. Set up at the peg next to us, and he couldn't let Eddie go without one last carp. So look who's got Davy's rod. Go over the sunburn on your neck, Ed. Oh, I did <laughs> it earlier. <laughs> Where is he, boy? It's in the weed. Keep the rod high, keep the rod high. Tell you what, there's less weed. Come over here, boy. The silp is in there. Slowly does it now, Ed. Is he still on? Yep. Yeah. You sure? Well, he is on, is he? He is on, yeah. He's in the net. I think he's in the net. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Mental. Last cap of the session, and now we can go home. Yeah. Cheers, Davy. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, Any time. There we go.